All right, guys, I'm gonna show you guys how to turn your doors from this to this. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be installing some TMW off-road doors on this Can-Am X3 Max. Now, everyone has always asked me, who makes my doors? Because on my car, the doors, personally, look awesome and i tell them the same answer every time tmw off-road they make the best doors on the market i tell them exactly the same answer i might as well copy and paste everybody who's messaged me i checked them out at the sand show i checked them out at the 4x4 expo i've checked every door manufacturer and my favorite were tmw off-road so tmw off-road didn't give me these doors while well, this customer bought them with his own money my doors i bought them full price with my own money and um they didn't give me anything I'm repping their product because it's a good product, but I did reach out to them and they're gonna give us 15% off for all you guys out there watching. Use the code FRANKG15 and get yourself 15% off all the products on their website. Check it out. All right, so I think we're gonna get started. We're removing the doors. It's gonna be really simple. Pull the whole door off. As, as you can see here, there's been some carnage on this car. We're gonna go ahead and pull the doors off. Pretty much just take these two 13s off and this whole door should go up. Now in the front, we are gonna reuse the latch, but we won't take that latch off until we need it. Grab yourself a 13. Just like that. All right, so when it comes to the rivet that holds that strap, that holds the door, you will wanna grind it off or probably better yet and more carefully, you can drill it out. And I'll show you guys how to drill it out on the front door. Now this is bent, obviously it's all cockeyed. So we're gonna have to bend that back. I'll probably just use a socket with an extension and pry that over. It looks a lot straighter. I'm happy with that. Let's move on to the front door. All right, so I'm holding the rivet with some locking pliers. I got a 1364 drill pit and we're just gonna drill right through it. And that's it. And same thing as the rear door. That's all that really holds on the door. Sometimes you gotta use a little force. All right, so same exact process for all four doors. I got all four doors off. It looks kind of funny, almost like a little military vehicle, maybe like a Jeep. It looks cool. So there are the doors. So the only thing we're gonna salvage from the doors are the latches, remember that. So we're gonna go ahead and put the uh, doors together. The TMW uh, gives you in the package and um, gives you that you gotta buy. Uh, we're gonna start off with the rear door, then we'll do the front door. I'm gonna show you guys how to align the door so you get a perfect fitment. And then I'll do the other side probably later on tonight. All right, so you guys know, these are the door skins. They do come wrapped in the bubble wrap, like this one here. They all come bubble wrapped. Um, I happen to unwrap them already. And then you get door frames. All of them, of course, bubble wrap. Now they're all powder coated the same in a matty type of black, kind of like a semi-gloss, but they're all nicely protected. The hardware also came bubble wrapped. Um, these are the brackets that you're gonna use, uh, four for the front and four for the rear. And we'll get to those in just a second. And then when it comes to the hardware, Everything comes in a box, everything is labeled, and what you're gonna do is gonna go onto TMW Off-Road and you're gonna find the instructions on there because they do have actual instructions. They don't come in the box, they're online. All right, got my hardware all laid out. I got this container or organizer at Harbor Freight for like five bucks, so I highly recommend getting one of those because it is a lot of hardware. But first, we're gonna start off with this foam tape. You're gonna put this in between the door frame and the door skin, and we're gonna do that right now. All right, guys, laying down the tape is actually really, really simple. All you gotta do is line up the holes. All right, once you line up the holes with the skin and the door frame, lay down some of this uh, painter's tape. In certain little spots, like here, then we'll take the door skin off. All right, next lay the door frame on the door skin. And you're gonna get your hardware with your locking nuts, your jam nuts, and uh, you're gonna put this all together. So I wanted to add, you can option these doors with these door bags that fit perfectly. And why I say they fit perfectly is because they actually sandwich in between the door skin and the door frame for a really, really clean look. Let me show you what I mean. So if you take off the door frame for just a second, 
you can see that the holes on the door bags line up perfectly with the holes on the door skin and what you're going to do is sandwich the door frame on top of the uh, door bag and uh, it's going to be a really really flush and clean look all right guys the hardware we're going to be using are these allens they're uh, the shorter version there's a lot of them so you'll know which ones i'm talking about and then these locking nuts with the purple uh, nylon in there now there is a longer allen in there and that's going to be for the very <laughs> rear of the uh, doors where the metal bracket is a lot thicker and you're going to use the longer bolts Once you have all the hardware in, now you can tie in everything down. Just don't go crazy on the torque because you will start to bend the sheet metal. Remember, these nuts are nylon locking, so you don't have to put a lot of torque on these bolts in order to keep them in place. All right, guys, I almost forgot, but as you start working yourself around with the nuts and bolts, you're gonna wanna grab two of these uh, studs with a square end at the very tip here. Um, you're gonna wanna insert these into the bracketry and leave them in place uh, while you tighten all the other bolts down because you won't be able to get these in um, after you do that so let's go ahead and put these in so we'll just leave those in place we'll continue putting the rest of the screws in we'll tighten all the screws all the way around and then we'll get on to hanging the door all right so hardware you're gonna get one of your little hinds here you're gonna put a nut then a washer then it's gonna go through the door and another washer and then a nut then you're gonna get this bracket. It's gonna go bolt, washer, bracket, washer, through the hind, and then another washer and one of these nylon locking nuts. So let's go ahead and mount this to the car. Uh, we're gonna slide the pin on the lower hind, and then we're gonna use two of the bolts. They give you new hardware, and you're gonna bolt that down. And be very careful, you don't wanna damage your paint or anything like that. Uh, just take your time. If you need a helper, grab a helper. You're gonna wanna tie in the upper bolt so it's nice and straight and upright. All right, once you got this upper bolt nice and tight, the door should be hung. These bolts here, I do have them pretty snug. No, I didn't torque them down because we're still gonna make the adjustments. The nuts on, the, uh, on here, we're gonna slide the frame as far back as we can. So that means moving this nut towards the heim as far back as you can on both ends and then move the other other uh, nut here as far back as you can and then we're gonna adjust after we put hang the front door as well so the C fitment you got to make sure that's not rubbing and right now looks pretty good so it looks like it might have to go up just a little bit because it is kind of low here we want it maybe a little bit higher like that um, no big deal like I said so in order to get that happening, we can go ahead and start pushing this nut in the back up just a little bit. Let's see where our fitment is at. A little high. So because the door is a little bit too high, we're gonna wanna move this uh, section further out and this one further in. And since we're already pretty much all the way in here, we're just gonna move this one out and only out. So we'll give it about one full turn and that's pretty good. The only thing left is to install the latch, but we're not going to do that until we install the front door. Because one thing that's very important, not only your gaps in the front, but your gaps in between the doors. You don't want to open this door and it rubs on the front door and same thing with the front door. You don't want to open the front door and it rubs on the rear door. You want to be able to open these doors at the same time, all your passengers, not even thinking about it, and working flawlessly. If you take your time and adjust them, they will, because they do on my car, and they're awesome. So let's get to it. We'll do the front door, we'll do a little time lapse. It's pretty much the same thing as the rear door. You're gonna install the screws, the bag, the nuts, and then put the tape on there, all that good stuff. Remember to put these two on here first before you tighten these up, because you won't be able to get those in later. 
This is gonna be for your latching system. And we still gotta take the latches out of the OEM doors because that's the only part you reuse when you put on these TMW off-road doors. Take first. All right guys, so these doors are just a little bit different, mostly in shape. Um, this is a, pretty much the same thing as far as how they're assembled. The only thing that I would say is different is on the bags, there's a Velcro strip on the front tube versus the other ones are bolted down through the bolts. The rest of the bag is the same as the other bag we just did for the rear, which is pretty much just sandwiching the bag between the door and the skin, so. All right, so I got the hardware all set up on the door frame. I like to leave these loose so I can hang the door. And on the uh, bracketry here, I'm gonna show you guys the bracket for just a second. Um, you're gonna wanna do bolt, washer, time, washer, bracket, washer, and then the nut. And uh, this is actually opposite of the rear door. On the rear door, the heim is on top of the bracket. And on the front door, the uh, heim is underneath the uh, bracket. So let's go ahead and hang this door. We're gonna wanna open the rear door, just make sure they don't hit each other. Leave that open just like that. Doesn't that look good? Damn, I love that. Let's go ahead and grab your door. Hang the heim on there, just like that. And then slide this over. And I screwed up, because I didn't bring the bolts with me. God damn it. We're gonna snug those up. And we're gonna go back to lining the door. All right, as you can see, this front door is nowhere close to being aligned and with an X3 Max versus a two-seater there is some trickery involved because you want to get the gap right in the middle just right so that you can open doors both doors at the same time so the way that I like to do it I leave the latches off and then towards over here the only nuts that should be loose are the ones at the heims down here and these should pretty much be tight um, there's an adjustment to this and I'll show you guys in a little bit this kind of adjusts what I would call the caster of the door and this is pretty much going to adjust um the door from rattling so we'll get to that in a little bit but mostly we're focusing on these so these are the only ones that should be uh the ones you're messing with i have them snug at the moment i don't want this door moving it's in a spot where i like it if you see the gap it's perfectly straight all around the gap here is jacked up because this door is hanging so we're going to focus on this door now and we're going to open this one back up because we don't want one rubbing with the other when i open this one so pretty much all this is loose so what we're gonna do to start off is we're gonna move the nuts as far back as possible so these should be all tight remember that these should not move the only thing that should be moving are these and we're gonna move them all the way back and these are 13 millimeters so get your 13 millimeter and snug them up if you have to just slightly because if you don't have them snug it will change the angle of the door so right there they're pretty snug we're gonna check the angle of the door and way too low so what we're gonna do because it's so low we're gonna leave this one as far back as we possibly can and we're gonna raise the uh, door by moving this bottom one outwards so like that so pretty much as you can see we left the top one tight the bottom one is loose and if i pick up the door i can change the angle you see that so we're gonna move the door up by moving the threads over all right i moved it at least three threads we're gonna snug it up remember you don't have to crank on it just make sure it's snug so it doesn't move and we're gonna check the alignment again it's still not aligned correctly it needs to go down a little bit so we went too far but no big deal we're moving in the right path let's lower it just a little bit i'm gonna move it over probably three quarters of a thread that's very close to where i might want it so I might want to move it just a little bit down. You can see the gap here versus the gap on the fuel door. So we'll move it down just a little bit more. There we go. That is perfect. That is perfect. That is exactly where I want it. Look at the gap. Now I have a gap everywhere that's very even. We're going to go ahead and close the rear door. And we're going to look at the gap. So follow the washers. Uh, follow the method that I'm using for the washers as far as the heim joints because you can play with the height of the doors But as you can see these doors are just about perfect 
Um, I like them right where they're at. The gap is even. Now the last thing to do is check if the doors hit each other in any way while opening the doors. All right, so we're checking the alignment and the clearance of the doors. Now the doors are perfectly aligned as far as up here. Um, the caster is a little off, we'll get to that in a little bit, but let's check the range of movement. These doors do not rub anywhere, so check the rear. They're not rubbing, they're stopping with the brackets like they're supposed to. And now we'll do the front. And we've got to make sure that the door does not hit the rear door. So, dude, it's perfect. I love it. So to show you guys what I'm talking about, when you open the front door, you got to make sure it doesn't hit the rear door, which is not. All right, so these doors are just about perfect. And we're going to go ahead and moving on to putting on the latches. But before we do that, just double check that these are all nice and tight. Uh, tighten them down, torque them down. You're not, you're probably not going to move them anymore. Um, these do not torque them down. We still have an adjustment after the latches are installed. Same thing for the front. This car just looks so much better with these doors. All right, guys, check it out. So I put on the bracket using a washer and nut for uh, upper and lower. And then you just use the existing hardware from your latch, bolt your latch onto the bracket. Now I will say that the bracket is different on all four corners. So the way it's orientated is different than how it's orientated on the front. So make sure you look at the instructions. I'll leave a link below so you guys can check it out. Um, it is a little tricky, but if you look at the instructions, it'll be clear as day, you'll be able to figure it out. Now, I left these slightly loose, just so when I close the door, if I need to adjust it, I can. And it looks like it's not binding or anything like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and torque them down right there. Look at that, good to go. Now you can hear a little bit of rattle. See that rattle? We gotta get rid of that. All right, now that we know that the door is aligned where we want it, the latch closes like we want it to, now we're gonna adjust the caster of the door. So the caster of the door changes the angle and how close the door is to the body. So right now the caster, and I'm calling it the caster, I don't know what it's really called, but I'm calling it the caster because this is kind of the analogy I could bring to it. Right now the gap is horrible and this door is gonna rattle like crazy. So in order to adjust the caster or the angle of the door and how close it is to the body, you leave these bolts loose just a tiny bit. So right there, they're barely loose, okay? What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna pull on this door until the gap goes in. And then you can see how I pull the door in and out and it changes the gap. So pretty much what you're gonna do is you're gonna tighten these two bolts with the gap as close as possible you could get it without causing any binding issues when you're trying to close the door. So to get the perfect snug fit, all you gotta do is pull on the door, not crazy amounts, just pull on it nice and tight, and then tighten both bolts down. Don't let go till you tighten both bolts down. That's nice and tight. We'll give one eighth of a turn more. Nice and tight. All right, so after you adjust it, tying those two bolts down, now we're gonna try the fitment of the door. Now you see if I really tug on it, you'll get the latch to move just a bit. But besides that, normal use, this thing ain't gonna rattle. It's actually perfect right there. Now if you want an even tighter fit, loosen the bolts up, slightly move with the latch until it's kind of an open position. And then just have a buddy if you want, push the door in like that. Change the angle, then tighten the bolts down and it will be really snug. You just can't make it too snug because then you're gonna have a hard time closing the door. So that's pretty much all, all there is to it. Let's do the front. Last time, so you guys can understand why these doors are so good and they don't rattle. You're pretty much hitting the plastic down here before you even get to the latch. So right here, you can see that's fully closed. The frame is physically touching the plastics on the body and our latch isn't even closed yet. So when you do close the latch, it's putting constant force on the bottom of the door, keeping it nice and tight. All right, guys, that's the end of this video. Before we go, I'm just gonna show you guys real quick the uh, handles that it comes with. So these are just stamped pieces of stainless steel and um, they go in here like that. So what we're gonna have to do is drill this out, pull the strap off and bolt these in. I'm not gonna show you guys that. You guys already got the gist of how to put these doors in, but I'm gonna show you how they're installed on my car so you get a good idea of what they're supposed to look like. All right, so check it out. Here's the front, pretty simple. Drill out that rivet for the strap, and this is what your uh, handle's gonna look like. So you got two holes here that you're gonna use on the latch, 
two allens and two locking nuts and pretty simple i mean not too much to it and this is how they open just like that so when you're from the inside you reach in there and just open the door just like that so that's it for this video thanks for watching as always if you haven't subscribed to the channel subscribe if you haven't entered our giveaway for october enter it's on instagram and as always thanks for watching finish of these doors just listen to the way they close I don't have to slam them I don't have to freaking slam them. I can just let them close on their own look at and they close fully no rattles best doors in the industry take your time and fix them in there right adjust them slight increments if you have to but get it done right and you'll be having the best doors everyone will be envious I know all my friends that open these doors say man I like these doors and you know, take pride in what you do, like I do, and uh, you're gonna have a product you're gonna be very happy with. So, TMW, check them out.